Inferno Warriors. It's your boy, Lionheart. And we're here. I'm just trying to enjoy my day. But they won't let me do it. They won't let me do it. So we're about to get into this. Yeah. This is information that came out for me today. Yeah. In America, it came out 10.59 a.m. But I'm in the UK. Uh, so, Wall Street Journal, an article by Kirsten Grind, Ben Fritz, and Sarah E. Needleman. Came out on November 16th, 2021, 10.59 a.m. Eastern Time. Right now, here, it is... Eight minutes past seven, the 17th of November, 2021. And we're going to get to it. Activision CEO Bobby Kotick knew for years about sexual misconduct allegations at the video game giant. Top executive didn't inform board of some reports, including alleged rapes. Company faces multiple regulatory investigations. Why are we not surprised? I'm not surprised. I've worked in a company, I'm sure you guys have worked in a company, right? Where you know that if anything is going on on the shop floor, office, showroom, that's gonna disrupt the business, disrupt the reputation of the business, a customer goes online and writes something on Twitter or Facebook or something, or makes a video of it on TikTok or whatever, the CEO is going to know about that immediately. And he's going to come down like a ton of bricks on whoever's doing it and heads will roll. We all know this. I've worked in um, a company, right? A million pound company where there was an issue in our showroom office where a customer had a disagreement with one of the workers. I wasn't there that day, it was my day off. When I came the next day, my boss told me about it and said, and I looked at the emails and I saw an email which was CC'd to our showroom that said, the CEO personal letter, essentially it said, what the hell is going on in that showroom that ceo came to our showroom office that that afternoon bro because that person had tweeted about their um arguments with you know the worker right and it was a big issue we all know a ceo knows everything so don't try to bullshit us, Bobby Kotick, that you didn't know anything. You knew absolutely everything. We're going to go into details of what's going on. Because it's quite big. Because we've got a lot to go through. Because my last video was when this first happened. I think it was in August or July. Something like that this year. right? Um, and I have been keeping tracks of this. But I wanted more information to come out right before i did my video so i've been doing multiple multiple videos of it yeah i don't want to congest the timeline with so many videos about it right and now mate this is the time man this is the time because it's it's so disgusting it's so bad we've got to talk about it we'll talk about it mate. so bobby kotick the long-time chief executive of video game giant Activision Blizzard Incorporated received a troubling email in July 2018 in which a lawyer for a former employee at Sledgehammer Games, Sledgehammer Game, Games um, owned and was owned by Activision Blizzard. It's one of the um, game studios that under Bobby Kotick, they were acquired. An Activision owned studio alleged 
in the email that her client had been raped in 2016 and 2017 by her male supervisor after she had been pressured to consume too much alcohol in the office and at work events. Too much. Too much, bro. The absolute scum, bro, that would do so. So you are the supervisor, yeah? The head supervisor. And then you basically pressure someone who's below you, a girl, to get drunk. And then once she is drunk and not in control of herself, you rape her. What type of monster is this? And I'll be honest with you, I can't. I can't even comprehend how monstrous and how vile this person is that did that to that woman, that girl. And I pride myself on being able to understand people and see things from different people's perspectives. I can't see it. I cannot understand where that type of vile behaviour to do something like that come from. I don't get it. I don't understand. It's so evil, bro. It's so disgusting. Like, this person's a real piece of shit, man. This Bobby Kotick knew about this. Human Resources knew about this. And these fuckers did nothing about it. These stinking people are in our have contaminated our video game space this is the type of thing that goes on in churches goes on in politics this goes on clearly in hollywood now the these scum these sycophants have found their way into our gaming space and tarnished it on fucking real bro unreal the female employee reported the incident to sledgehammer, sledgehammer games resources department and other supervisors but nothing happened according to the um, emails these fuckers did not rape has happened and these fuckers did nothing I don't understand, man. I'm so baffled. I can't even compute it. That's how baffled I am. If that was me, that person, first of all, would have got reported to the um, to the law. They would have got fired on the spot. But they wouldn't have got fired before that person would have stayed there until the police got there to take that person away. That person, they, they would have been out so quick, their feet would not have touched the ground, bro. Their feet would not have touched the ground. They would have been out of there so far. But the, uh, the, um, the law would have had to take them away and put them in prison. Great, man. Unbelievable. These people have got no morals, man. They've got no heart. They've got no morals. They've got nothing. There's no empathy. There's no... They look like human beings, but they're not. Because you have to be a real piece of cowardly scum to do that. And the human resources as well are just repulsive bro repulsive that you know this and the supervisors that all got informed about this and they did nothing crazy crazy all right so she reported it to, to, to um to the re re human resources department and supervisors nothing happened according to the email which threatened a lawsuit against the company within months of receiving the email um said people familiar to the situation 
Activision reached out for an out of court settlement with the woman who had reported one of the incidents to the police. Mr. Kotick did inform the company's board of directors about the alleged rapes or the settlements, said people with knowledge of the board. So, as I said, this guy is a liar. He's a piece of shit. He reported it to the board of directors. He didn't even, no, he didn't even report it. But even if he had reported it to the board of directors, these stinking fuckers are, they're, they're sleeping in the same bed as him. So they would have, they wouldn't have, they probably wouldn't have done anything either. They probably wouldn't have done anything either. So, well, anyway, you know, um, so where are we? Activision has been thrown into turmoil in recent months by multiple regulatory investigations into alleged sexual assault and mistreatment of female employees dating back years, over 10 years, and it's not alleged. If you have thousands of people reporting this has happened to them, how is it alleged? Thousands of people over decades have reported this, have said it. A lot of these um, sycophants have been um, fired from the company because the oh there's so much overwhelming evidence that they can't hide it and their company is sinking faster than the titanic and they're all like like rats scurrying out of a stinking sewer that they're just throwing people aside just say oh we, we don't know about these people we never knew about that we knew about these people we found about a lot of you fucking knew about it from ages ago and anyway, we shouldn't be that surprised because this Bobby Kotick, he's friends with Epstein. The, the celebrity, um, the celebrity pedophile. The guy that um, Epstein, you know, the guy who's like, he's like the pimp of pedophilia for the whole um, celebrity industry. Bobby Kotick. He is a media, he was in um, Epstein's diary. I saw it the other day. Well, a couple weeks ago, right? Yeah, a couple weeks ago. He's in that guy's diary. He was one, a cottage is one of Epstein's clients. Why are we not, why we, what should we be surprised? This is expected. This is what scum does. And somehow this dog managed to keep his job unbelievable how far do you have to go before it's, un it's deemed unacceptable how far personally i'm no angel yeah but personally the way i feel in terms of this whole situation the number that i think is acceptable for this happening to people right the number i would say is zero when you have even one person that's reporting that they're being abused, that is one too much. One too much. Not a single person should be afraid, should be nervous, should be scared to come to work. Fuck off, man. Not one person. One is one too many. That's how I'm going on. That's how I'm going on. And that's not even a big deal, I don't think. I don't feel like everyone says, oh, well, it's, it's, it's going to be at least one. No, zero. This is it's a place of work where people come to pursue their dreams, not to be harassed and humiliated and oppressed. Come on, man, and wait. Bloody hell, man. You know, and, you know, they know they knew about it the admission of guilt they did the out of court settlement because they will have known they had all the evidence they report that but they talked to that person crazy man at addition has been thrown into term oil in recent months because their alleged sexual assault and mistreatment of female employees dating back years mr kotick 
has told directors and other executives he wasn't aware of many uh, of the allegations of misconduct and he has played and he has played down others according to people familiar with the matter in internal documents exactly what the, uh, that woman um fran townsend or whatever her name is who's like the um, who was in charge of abk or something like that when this first happens and when this first allegations first started happening and the people that work within activision i said yeah this happened to me she was saying oh no this is over exaggeration they're trying to pick the cup in such and such a way your own employees former and current are saying it happened we are victims of this yes this has happened to us this happened to me some people saying yes i've seen that happen to somebody and then this idiot the friend townsend whichever is saying oh no it didn't happen the credit saying no 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 it wasn't that bad i didn't know of many of these that's what i said you've got to watch these people man these manipulative evil conniving people you would have really knew that was going on even listen to what the guy is saying he wasn't aware of many which means he was aware of some which i did i did admit to earlier when i said there could have been no there was thousands not a thousand thousands of reports of sexual assault and um, sexual um harassment abuse bullying all that type of skullduggery out of thousands he must have known about hundreds so even there he's trying to manipulate the words and then trying to say it wasn't that bad in internal documents which basically means obviously cover up people are pieces of shit man those documents which um included memos emails and regulatory um requests and interviews from former employees and other familiar with the company. However, Mr. Kotick's response in a, diff um, in a different light. His response was in a different light. They showed that he knew about allegations of employee misconduct in many parts of the company. He did inform the board of directors about everything he knew. The interviews and documents show even after um, um, regulators began investigating the incident in 2018 of the lady that was raped, right? The girl that was raped by her superior, the piece of shit, scum, coward, manipulator. Yeah. Some departed employees were accused of misconduct, were praised on the way out. This is when, you know, the people leave the company and then they'll say, oh, such and such was a valuable asset to the company. And we wish him the best world in his future because these pieces of shit didn't think that this would come out. So you can imagine the employees have had to watch these dogs, these vile creatures that have done their sexual abuse and their rape and all their fucking skullduggery leave the company quietly and they get all the champagne and the fireworks and the um, praise by Activision Blizzard, by Body Bobby Kotick and everybody and they get to leave gracefully even though that they've committed heinous crimes against innocent hard-working people. It's, it's just, it just goes to show man how depraved and how repulsive um, Activision Blizzard is. You know, the corruption. And it just they're just awful. They're just awful, horrible people. Horrible people. And I use the term people loosely because they're like, they're more akin to monsters than people. To do things like this to people. And not even, um, no type of feeling or determination to help the people that have been victimized and that have been hurt i just don't understand it literally i don't understand it actually 
it's, it's, it's perplexing to me. Employees, some employees um, who were accused of misconduct were, were praised on the way out. Yeah. While their co workers were asked to remain silent about the matter. So, yeah, so essentially, people that knew what these scum were doing and then they got their praise on the way out, co workers were asked to remain silent about it. Cover up. Mr. Kotek has been subpoenaed in a Securities and Exchange Commission investigation into how the company handled reports of misconduct and disclosed them to the public. Um, but this was this was back in August, September. Yeah. Uh, so we do know about that. And Activision Blizzard actually destroyed a lot of information. Crazy. This just shows how much the rich can get away with just they can get away with murder the fact that they said to yourself so what's going to happen if we destroy evidence when i'm going to go to prison at worst they're going to fine us the cost of being fined millions potentially tens of millions could be even hundreds it's worth it it's worth it more than what the knowledge could do to us we'll pay them we'll pay the tens of millions we'll pay the hundreds of millions shred the evidence they did this about two months ago unbelievable they shredded important documents unbelievable in addition the california department of fair employment and housing this is the original um investigation where it first came out that they'll be investigated for harassment and sexual abuse and everything like that they filed a lawsuit in july alleging the company ignored numerous complaints by female employees of harassment discrimination and retaliation um citing what it's called frat boy culture in response to bobby cottage drafted email that he had another executive um, um uh, he had another executive sent to employees uh, under her name that dismissed the allegations as presenting a distorted untrue picture of the company according to internal documents reviewed by the journal this was that town's end shithead um, the board of directors was blindsided by the California lawsuit and allegations, including that an Activision employee killed herself. I don't even want to read this. I don't even want to read it. I don't even want to read it. Oh man. Wow. What is wrong with me? I can't even read it. It's so bad, dude. It's so bad. Like these people are just they're just disgusting, man. They're just such horrible people, dude. Makes me sick, dude. Makes me sick. How are these people not in prison? I'm just, I just don't understand the world. I really don't understand the world. How you can you do this? And all I'm hearing is allegations and reports. Why am I not hearing about um, people being put in prison? Why am I not hearing about court cases? Why am I not hearing about trials? Why am I not hearing about prison sentences? I'm sick of reading reports. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of Twitter and people saying it on Twitter, but there's no goddamn accountability. There's no punishment for this garbage. Unreal, bro. Okay. 
to tweet it, just read it. The board of directors was blindsided by the California um, lawsuit allegations, including an activation employee killed herself after a photo of her vagina allegedly was circulated at a company party, according to people familiar with the board. No heart, man. No heart, no compassion, no remorse, just cowards and evil. Just, it's sick. It's sick, man. And then the woman killed herself. Killed herself, bro. The board of directors have questioned Bobby Kotick about what he knew and why he hadn't been informed. These people said he told them any cultural issues were set. In, he told them that any cultural issues were centered at the company business unit, which he said had resolved years earlier that's what these people said so since she said it's already been dealt with and it's dead why have then why have we not heard about there being any type of prison sentences or anything like that or people being let go and then being reported to the authorities why have we not heard about this if it's been resolved so I don't want to hear about such a thing as happened and then that person was just let go quietly and that was it. Don't want to fucking hear that. Right. The report. The world was in Blizzard Entertainment Unit. In a recent interview, he describes in a recent interview, Bobby Kotick described himself as transparent with the board and said he provided directors with much information as they required. Well, not really, because you know there was he received a report of a woman employee getting raped in 2016 and 2017. You knew about it in 2018, but you didn't tell the directors about it. You didn't tell anybody about it. So he's already shown. He's a liar, as well as all the other things that he is, piece of shit, scum, liar, manipulator, um, friends with the celebrity pedophile, um, pimp, Epstein, right, because he's in that guy's diary and everything like that, so you already shown that you're a piece of shit, a rat, a stinking plate rat, you've already shown you're that, so, whatever. You can't listen to a word that comes out of that piece of shit's mouth, man. Not one word. So he says he was transparent, the bold face lie. Right. Um, I'm very committed to making sure that we have the most welcoming fucking liar, inclusive. You don't give a shit about inclusive workplace in the industry, he said. Liar. Liar. Activision spokeswoman, um, Helene. Kalaski, I butchered that. Sorry, Helene. Um, said in a written statement that Kotick would not have been informed of every report of misconduct at Activision Blizzard. Wording, wording, would not have been informed of every. Nobody said he'd been informed of every misconduct, but he damn sure knew about the rape ones he knew about the sexual abuse he knew about the frat boy culture that is a 100 percent guarantee he knew about one absolute cast iron guarantee he knew about that because that impacts the business and it's something that could come back on the actual company because for this type of thing to happen and for the world not to know about it, there has to be a cover-up. A cover-up this potent can only come from the very top. So don't talk bullshit and don't try to wind us up.
Um, so he, yeah, he reported that and um, saying that he didn't know about every single issue. It's just language. It's just the it's the potential. It's the implications that they are using. It's the buzzwords. It's just the way they they're trying to say it to try to manipulate, and that's all it is. And that's where the politics comes in that's why activision blizzard they hire all these people from um these people that are in charge at the very top of activision they're not gamers they don't care about video games they're politicians they're people that have worked in it firms and they've worked in banks and they've worked in um politics that's who these people are that's where all this bullshit manipulative language comes from Okay, so he wouldn't have been formed, nor he would, nor would he uh, reasonably be expected to have been updated on all of personal issues, personnel issues. Just fuck off with that talk, man. It just, it just winds me up. All. Gee, it's the manipulation of the words. He would not have been, there's no way he would have uh, known about all. Don't wind me up, man. Don't wind me up, bro. That's like say that's like if you hit on the lottery, no, on the um there's a, a show, right? And they say we are giving away millions of prizes. All you have to do is enter. That's it. And you think yes, I can win millions. Then you win. And then your prize comes and there's millions of pounds worth of water or millions of pounds worth of toilet paper or millions of pounds worth of whatever nobody said it was millions of millions of pounds Nobody actually detailed what the millions was worthy. Worthy. All right. So, Activision Blizzard. Uh, so, okay. So, so it said. Now, she said Activision sometimes fell short of ensuring that all our employees' behavior was consistent with our values and expectations. Well, they have no values and they have no expectations of um, employees' behavior. We know this from frat boy culture. Now, for me, to come into work drunk is unacceptable. How the hell are you going to do your job if you're drunk? If you're drunk, you are going to be disrupting the workplace. There's no way round it. If you want to be drunk, fuck off and stay at home. Don't come round me if you're drunk. Listen, if I'm in my workplace, yeah, I've come to work, and a colleague or someone that I work with in the same department is drunk and they're fucking about, I'm that, and they touch me in any capacity. As far as I'm concerned, they're threatening my safety. And if I feel they're threatening my safety, I'm going to defend myself with extreme force. Extreme force. Full power force. That's all I'm going to say. But of course, they're going to target the women. Of course, they're going to target the women because they're cowards. And that's what cowards do. So for me personally, the drunk part is already unacceptable. Who drinks when they're at work? How are you supposed to make good, do good work if you're coming to work drunk? Fuck off, man. Jesus. Unreal, dude. Unreal. So this talk where it says uh, behavior with alcohol, because you've done this been going on for years. For decades, this has been going on. It's not a new thing that has happened. You're only saying we fell short because you've been exposed now. And the value of people is so goddamn high. And now we know about it. 
And we are the customers. We are the people that have put you in the position that you're at. And you've used that and you've taken advantage of it. And now the people are coming after you. The people are coming down on you like a ton of bricks for being such disgusting, repulsive uh, behavior that now you're backtracking. You're only sorry now because you've been caught and because you're being called out. And now the authorities are coming down on you. Activision's board, in a statement sent by Miss Kalisky, Kalisky, said it has been informed at all. It has been informed at all times with respect to the status of the regulatory matters, and that Mr. Kotick hadn't said the problems were only at Blizzard one of the company's most successful studios. Santa Monica based Activision is the second largest public trade uh, video game company by market capitalization. It employs 10,000 people and its hit franchises include Call of Duty, which I've deleted off my, um, my PS4 and off my PC, Candy Crush, I've heard about Candy Crush, don't give a fuck about it. Uh, World of Warcraft, don't know nothing about no World of Warcraft, don't care about it, never will care about it, and it sounds like absolute shit to me anyway. Under Bobby Cotton's leadership, the company's market value has risen uh, to about 54 billion from 14 billion a decade ago. Since the California lawsuit, Activision has received more than 500 reports from current and former employees alleging harassment, sexual assault, bullying, pay disparities and other issues according to people familiar with the matter. Activision's spokesman said the company is investigating the claims using teams from both inside and outside the company. An example of alleged misconduct by Mis uh, alleged misconduct by Activision Blizzard cited in this article haven't previously been reported. That's something new. Bobby Kotick, 58 years old, is one of the highest paid executives in the um, chief executives in the US public traded company with a pay packet in 2020 of 154 million. In October, after Journal approached Activision with frequent um, questions for this article, a Bobby Cotter employee um, Bobby Cotter told employees he asked the board to reduce his total annual compensation to um, $62,500 and that the company was implementing a zero tolerance harassment policy and ending mandatory arbitration for harassment and discrimination claims. In August, Activision named a long-time employee, Jennifer O'Neill, to be Blizzard's co-head. This is after the allegations and, you know, that J. Allen Brack and all those the scumbags that knew about all the fuckery that was going on and participated in it and all this type of bullshit. They either left, got fired or, you know, cowards that they are right and then um, Activision Blizzard they employed Jennifer O'Neill to be Blizzard's co-head making her the first woman to lead the company's business unit you know then and um, they staged Activision Blizzard employees staged a protest and this Jennifer O'Neill and, and the other guy who's a co-head as well his name is I think it's Mike Yabara because in August you know just like a couple months ago less than three months ago right and um, it was jennifer o'neill was called was named as co-head and mike yabara so it was two people um acting together as co-heads together yeah the following month so she got hired to do and um, she got hired in that role in in august and in september she sent an email to Activision Blizzard's legal team in which she um, she professed 
a lack of faith in Activision Blizzard. This is a newly crowned co-head. Sent a letter to Activision Blizzard leadership to turn the culture around, saying it was clear that the company would never prioritize our people the right way. This is internally. Miss O'Neill said in the email she had been sexually harassed herself earlier in her career at Activision Blizzard. So she was, um, she had been sexually abused in Activision Blizzard earlier, right? But Activision Blizzard obviously didn't know that. That's the reason, so they, if, or else they wouldn't have hired her because then her resolve to actually get to the bottom of this would have been cast iron and she just saw that activision blizzard at the actual top of the top were not interested all they cared about was public image that's all they cared about all right so she's um i said that the following email and she professed her lack of faith and it was clear that company uh, would never prioritize a bit more. Miss O'Neill said in the email she had been sexually harassed herself in her early career in Activision Blizzard and that she was paid less than her male counterpart. So she has been named co head with Mike Yabara, but she's getting paid less than Mike Yabara. So Activision Blizzard are blatant hypocrites and that she paid less and she wanted to discuss her resignation and she said in her email i've been tokenized tokenized marginalized and discriminated against as what um as miss runner as as she went and uh, miss o'neill writ she is an asian american gay woman right so already you can see the the disrespect the brazen nature of activision blizzard they do not care about representation they do not care about all they care about is image she's a co-head she's got no power it's a good to pay to the public an asian american woman who's gay as our co-head can you imagine this woman has worked hard her whole life in gaming she was sexually abused in activision bliss but she still stayed there because she loved the job she grinded got there with no support no help obviously clearly by her treatment and then she gets put to be the, the co-head of a company not because they believe in her talent and her skills and her hard work and her contribution her massive contributions to the company they put her to the top because she's Asian American, she's gay. The sheer disregard and disrespect for a human being. That is the most offensive. Which I could I completely understand where she's coming from. Clearly understand it. That's why she said I've been tokenized, marginalized, and discriminated against. And you think to yourself, why would she think that? They made her a co-head. What I just said is sheer disrespect she disrespect she's and she and she put she described in a party for activision blizzard development studio she attended with um kotick bobby kotick in 2007 in which scanty clad women dance and strip and on stripper poles what is that like chief executive officers For a video game company going to a strip club or holding a party where you have women strippers 
Like, I don't understand that. I'm so confused by that, right? I mean, I'm not saying that I have a problem with strippers, right? I've been to a strip club before, right? I'm just saying for company. So imagine if you work for a company, right? Multi-million company. The last thing I'm going to do is go with my boss. Highly respectable. Well, it's supposed to be highly respectable. You can clearly see it's less than that. Significantly less than that. To a place where um, scantily clad women are like on stripper poles. Like, I don't understand. I don't understand. It's seedy. At the same party, a DJ encouraged female attendees to drink more so men would have a better time according to another person who was present. A DJ encouraged female attendees to drink more so men would have a better time. That is just so depraved and pathetic. It beggars belief. Like it just, it's just, it basically means that they wanted the women to get drunk so the men could do the rape, like what the supervisor did. This company is just a shit house, a legit trash fire shit house company. Unbelievable. I can't even use the word unacceptable. It's just, it's repugnant, me. And I'm no angel, yeah? But you are encouraging women to drink so that men can have a good time. What state is the world in? I am so confused, man. This shows me that I don't understand people. I don't understand the world we're currently living in. I don't. I thought I did, but I don't. This type of repulsive, fuckery, cowardly behaviour would never even cross my mind. And I feel like I'm a textbook guy. But, well, I'm not a textbook guy, but you know what I mean, right? But this type of thing is just, it's not a thing. It's, it, it's not a thing. Miss um, Kalaski said, Mr. Kotick didn't remember att attending such a party. Of course he didn't. The company announced in, on November 2nd that Miss O'Neill is leaving Blizzard at year's end. Miss O'Neill said, um, said in an email that she made the decision that was best for her and her family. And in the interview, uh, Kotick disputed that Activision was unwelcome to him. This is a video that he did, you know, just the other day, that he said that examples of misconduct identified in the Wall Street Journal, yeah, are exceptions and don't reflect the company's overall, and um, the company overall. No, I think it paints a very um, clear picture, not the most clearest picture, because there's way more diabolical, sinister, and repulsive behavior going on and evil behavior going on but it paints a very clear picture right of the type of villains the type of evil that is going on in the company so no mr kotick i think that it's pretty bang on target he said he's spending more time on workplace issues liar if there are experience, if there are experiences people have in a workplace that make them uncomfortable, 
were much more adept at being able to respond to those. Liar, liar. That's the reason that they had the second walk out because despite everything that had happened, um, this T Tan Townsend idiot and this Kotick and all the other people were saying that the um, allegations were false when they were not false because if you have your employees current and former saying yes we have seen that yes this has happened to us this has happened to us yes it's happened to a friend of mine yes it's happened to me it is no longer alleged it's no longer can you dispute it when you have so many people coming out saying yes we've seen it this has happened I've seen this happen, this has happened to me, this has happened, this has happened, that's happened, I've seen it, this has happened to me, this has happened to me. Yes, this is what's going on in the company. And then the people are so mad at the Philly for trying to lie that they, that the people walk out. You know, so it's just that thing where they lie, they say sorry when you're not sorry, you're only saying sorry because you've been caught out and you've been exposed. You know, so it's just lies. He said, Mr. Kotick, um, um, those, uh, Mr. Um, Kotick said that he and the board now accept, now expect to be kept better informed in the past about workplace issues. He said, Mr. Kotick said that he and the board, he and the board now expect to be kept better informed about the past workplace issues but you already knew about the workplace issues so don't try to put out a, a, a video of you trying to talk in a sincere voice when you are the last thing you are is sincere saying that now i expect to be kept better informed so already, so essentially what he's doing is he's saying, didn't know about it before, but I'm going to know now. And other people are going to know about the situation if it does arise and they're going to tell me. And if those people don't tell me, I can't be informed. So already he's deflecting, he's feigning ignorance. He's deflecting it from himself and he's also saying the board so he's deflecting it from himself and the board this guy is just garbage bro because it's very easy to get your other management your other staff to not tell you information to bury things without telling you but you just don't tell them that verbally or in a letter or in an email or a text message or a group chat it's very easy to relay these type of things without actually saying it or writing it yeah it's these this is the type of thing that i'm talking about where these people they are like they're like fucking politicians right they show that they are the rich conniving manipulative scum that's what they are doing that's what he's trying to do in the statement. Mr. Kotick has been a technology entrepreneur, whatever, don't care, we all know. The reason he made so much money for Activision Blizzard is because when he first came in, he made acquisitions, you know, sledgehammer games of Blizzard, of all these type of companies. He brought them into Activision Blizzard and it's, that's why it's shot. Now Activision Blizzard, is, instead of making 14 million, 14 billion, now they're making 54 billion, whatever. So yeah, so that is pretty much, that's what it is. It's like a, lo a long um, article. It's in the, I'll put this in the comment section, actually. So if you want to look at this, you can look at this, right? Uh, and Jason Schreier, you know, he reported about this, yeah? Um, yesterday, is it yesterday? I'm, I'm looking at Twitter. So yeah, so he was the one that broke it on Twitter, essentially, saying Activision Blizzard employees um, say that they're launching a walkout 
right, in the wake of the Wall Street Journal article detailing Bobby Kotick's knowledge of sexual misconduct and harassment by the company and demanding Kotick be replaced. Finally, finally, they're saying that he should be replaced. The motherfucker should be replaced ages ago, ages ago. I do not understand how he's not been replaced. How he's not been, how he's not been given the boot. Immediately, out, fuck off. The bombshell story uh, from the Wall Street Journal uh, this morning lays out how much Bobby Kotick knew about the sexual harassment and um, you know misconduct at Activision Blizzard. Pretty much all that I've been reading to you, you know, for the past almost hour. Um, what, what else have we got? Lovely. We've got names. We've got names. Dan Bunting, co-head of Activision, Activision's Trey Art Studio, was accused by a female employee of sexually harassing her in 2017. After a night of drinking, according to people familiar with the incident, Activision Activision's Human Resource Department and other supervisors launched an uh, internal investigation in 2019 and recommended that he be fired, but Kotick intervened to keep him. These people said Mr. Bunting, who led Treyarch through the production of several successful Call of Duty games, was given counselling and allowed to remain at the company, people said. Look, you cannot have somebody do rape, be a sexually harass people, abuse people, and then say, we're going to give him counselling. A grown man. This is not a condition. This is what this piece of shit is. This is him. You cannot reform bullshit. This is a bullshit piece of shit. You cannot reform Dan Bunting, the rapist. You cannot reform him. They covered for him. Kotick intervened to keep him. And then said, oh, we're going to put him in a counselling thing and then have him stay at the company. Bunting didn't respond to requests for comment. That division spokesman said an outside investigation was conducted in 2020 after considering potential actions in light of the investigations the company elected not to terminate Bunting but instead to impose other disciplinary measures. As she said, Bunting left the company after the journal asked about the incident. So he never got fired. He left very recently after the Wall Street Journal questioned him about the incident because the truth is going to come out. So this shows even more that Activision Blizzard, Bobby Kotick is an absolute piece of shit. He is absolutely disgusting. He knew all about it, covered for the guy and refused to let him go. Sickening. Sickening. Yesterday, a couple hours after the Wall Street Journal had um, put their information up, this is a letter. What is it? Is it a issued a statement. This is from. Um, Ben Fritz, yeah? This is what uh, Ben Fritz tweeted. Activision Blizzard Board of Directors issue statement regarding the recent article. Activision Blizzard's board remains committed to the goal of making Activision Blizzard the most welcoming, inclusive company in the industry. Under Bobby Kotick's leadership, the company is already implemented industry changing and uh, changes including zero tolerance harassment uh, tolerance harassment policy 
a dissipation to achieve significant increases to the percentages of women and non-binary people in our workplace and significant internal and external investments to accelerate opportunities for diverse talent. The board remains confident that Bobby Kotick appropriately addressed the workplace issues brought to his attention. The goal we have set for ourselves are both critical and ambitious. The board remains confident in Bobby Kotick's leadership, commitment and ability to achieve the goals. Now, even before I even read this, yeah, I said before, even if the board of directors knew that Bobby Kotick was like this, they still would have backed him. Every single one of them, they're a piece of shit. They've all backed him. They've all backed him. They just said, in light of the information, we believe in Bobby Kotick. Fuck them. Fuck them all. These people only, unfortunately, these fuckers only listen to money. People got to stop, man, with World of Warcraft and Call of Duty. Literally, all they're doing is they release these games and they release all this stuff straight away after they try to cover it up. Because they're trying to defect, they're trying to buy us gamers off with games. And now they're trying to put uh, their video games with women. With black people. With Asian people. With Indian people. With Spanish people. With Latino people. With Mexican people. With all different types of races and culture people. When they don't give a fuck about different races and cultures. They don't give a fuck. All they care about is money. That is it. Because when they see this whole diversity and all this type of buzzwords that they're using, all they see is money. They don't see people, they see money. That's why it's so damn insulting. Don't fuck about. Don't fuck about, bro. The other reporter, um, what is it? Kristen Grind, you know. She reported on it as well. Activist CEO told an employee that he would have her killed. He kept an exec from being fired. Yeah, which I said, the Dan Bunting. He kept an executive uh, from being fired after a sexual harassment claim um, had been made. And he did tell his board of the alleged rapes and misconducts, which doesn't really matter because they would have backed him anyway. They're all pieces of shit. You know, so yeah, that was like all the information, you know, that has been coming out. And it's just, it's just disgusting, man. Like, there is no, there is, there's, there's, there's no comeback for this company, bro. There's no comeback. The only way Activision Blizzard can be saved is if they are just purged of the Bobby Cocktails of the um, Dan Buntings of the um, Fran Townsend all these scum people and just from the bottom up that's the only way they can save this company is a complete purge of the scum an hour ago this is brand new I just refreshed Twitter Jason Schreier I'm going to have all these links down below Jason Stryer just tweeted this, right? Um, PlayStation boss Jim Ryan slapped Activision Blizzard this morning, writing in an email to Star that he was disheartened and frankly stunned by this week's news. We do not believe their, st their statements of response properly address the situation. Yeah, because that, um, that Bobby Kotick is saying trying to downplay it and saying that he's basically trying to say that no i didn't do anything i didn't ask the whichever the piece of shit man i'm gonna have all the links to this stuff it's in the comment section so you can see everything that i am referring to let me look at, let me refresh some of this stuff now because new information may have come out in an email the staff seen by Bloomberg, Ryan, um, Ryan said 
that PlayStation reached out to Activision shortly after yesterday's article asking how they plan to address what was reported. Oh. Okay. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. This cut it needs to go, man. This cut it needs to go, bro. I don't give a shit if he's if he made them um, forty billion or whichever in ten years or whichever has happened. Yeah, from him acquiring um, businesses because that company could have made a lot more if the company their games were not so shit because of their culture that he has allowed and basically helped to permeate throughout the whole company. That the Activision Blizzard is a, it's a cancer in the gaming industry. It's poisoned the well of gaming. That's what this does. Over a hundred people in Activision Blizzard in the campus of Irvine, California, uh, have walked out and they demand cottage resignation. I don't understand how these people are not in prison. I am just, I'm just beyond confused. Can you really do all this type of stuff and get away with it and just lose your job is that the repercussion that's it you lose your job that j allen bratt the head of activision of, of blizzard yeah he quit he quit i think it was in august or something like that or july when all this first come out and he knew this whole shit storm that was coming this was 10 years over 10 years of evil that was coming for him and he quit now we see why he head for the hills so quickly and now he's escaped no way should this this fucker be allowed to escape none of them none of these rapists none of these um psychopaths should be allowed just to get off scot-free unbelievable this company needs to be purged of all the scum bro no wonder you got world of warcraft modern warfare call of um, call of duty no matter all these games are so shit look at the people that are at the top that run the business look at the culture that they let go on in their own company Warriors, I don't know what you guys think, man. I'm going to be keeping an eye on this. Any new information that comes out about this, I'm still going to be doing videos about it, right? So, you are, I'm going to be following this. And I constantly repost my videos about this situation on Twitter. Because I'm praying for Activision this is downfall. I pray for their downfall. Yes, I said it. You can't do this to people. You cannot do this to people and expect no repercussion. Can't do it, mate. A woman killed herself. Because somebody was sent in pictures because they, um, the person that abused her and manipulated her to their um, higher executive position then took pictures of her vagina and then sent them around the whole office and at the parties and stuff like that humiliating her she killed herself because of that you know women have been raped multiple times in that company that's crazy to me this is happening in our gaming space it's unforgivable reprehensible and they need to be sent to prison they need to be made an example of i don't want to hear about no stinking fine i don't want to see no i'm sick of 
fines and tweets and I want a lawsuit. I want prison time, repercussions, severe punishments. Warriors, that's all I've got. You know, reporting about all of this. Links are down below in the comment section if you want to read it and see what uh, everything, the tweets, the articles that I've been um, referring to, you know, um, the information that I found that was on uh, Reddit. All links are down below. You can check that out. Leave any kind of com comments you want down below. I'll read all the comments. We'll be talking about it. And um, yeah, you just gotta go from there. Not worries. Take care.